Good evening. It is Feel Good Tuesday, Wellness Tuesday. I am hoping I can edit this in one day because it's already evening. I would like to post this video on a Thursday morning, meaning it has to be edited by Wednesday afternoon. So that leaves me very little time to turn this around. Welcome to this episode of Feel Good Hair Good, as I've tentatively named it. My hair is getting very tired, upset and annoyed. It's looking always very dreadful and like, look at this, like it looks unmotivated. I saw that there's some things that you can do to make your hair a bit more excited for life again. Rosemary is supposed to be really good to stimulate hair growth. So I bought this Rosemary Essential Oil and we are going to put this in my hair before we're going to completely destroy my hair by dyeing it again. I've chosen the same color, uh, the plum violet. I said last time it was going to be a one-off, but I kind of like the color. Um, I am thinking though, I am thinking, maybe next time, once I'm done with this purple, I'm going to dye it a bit more dark brown. But who knows? I keep saying one thing and then the other, I do the complete opposite, so who knows? I'm just reading the instructions for the oil and it does say here that you're supposed to, to put it into your hair after a bath or shower which my hair is dry right now so i'm gonna have to do this first this is also again a rented place and i have a roommate and he's very anal about me not breaking anything or making a big mess i'm hoping that i can clean all of this up and he will never know that i dyed my hair here he will notice tomorrow when he sees my hair, but hopefully he won't see any disaster in the bathroom. Last time I started and I forgot my Vaseline, so I'm gonna start with the Vaseline. I saw a spot here where I had left the roots untouched. So I'm hoping this was the only one and you won't be able to see it. Hair is now done. I have spontaneously decided now we're going to put a little bit of oil in my hair so that overnight it can like keep all the goodness in. Especially now that I've just dyed it. Five drops. Oh, where is that? Oh, there it is. And then let's just massage this in there. Ooh, this feels funny. I mean, Wellness Tuesday is going pretty well so far. This feels very, uh, very nice. While I'm doing this, I can tell you guys that this whole idea of Wellness Tuesday started because I'm battling this throat infection again, but it kind of touches upon taking care of yourself, but also like having mini wellness spa moments and treat yourself good. You know, you don't have to spend a bunch of money and be rich to do it. You can also do the home version like me. Well, that was that. I wanna put some, I put Moroccan oil, the light one, in my hair. It's supposed to be good for your hair. One thing I would say though, if you dye your hair, is you probably should sleep with the towel like on your cushion so you don't accidentally like smear color all over your cushion, especially if it's like dark color. Now that we've done hair, we're gonna move on to face. Although I'm not gonna do a lot today. It's already 10 p.m. and I'm, oh, it's quarter past 10 already. And I'm tired. For night cream, I use Vitamin C Overnight Gold Revealing Mask. This one from the body shop. Nivea cream is my, the blue Nivea, like the blue thick Nivea cream is my go-to cream. I have used it for years and even if I use other creams, I usually put Nivea on top because it's the only one that I find that is thick enough that it, it gets absorbed by my skin, but it still forms like a nice layer of protection on it. Like now I can feel my skin is like happy. It's been a long day, you guys. Okay, I'm in my bed and I'm almost ready for bed. I usually do a meditation, journaling, or a gratitude thing before I fall asleep. I have like a notebook like this, which is blank. Bought this book initially because I was reading self-help books last year. 
and some of them had like exercises to do so I said I'm gonna have a book that's specifically for those exercises in those books and I read two help self-help books in particular that helped me the first one was uh, happier this book has helped me a lot I found that it is really insightful and asks a lot of very simple but insightful questions that really make you think and the answers come quite naturally to you you don't have to force it if you're looking for a self-help book to start off with i would say this one is really good and the second book that i that surprised me a lot is actually written by a youtuber um it's called your head is a houseboat it's a very different format for from a standard self-help book it has a lot of like illustrations like this one for example just like and this is because the youtuber is also an illustrator so he kind of used his creativity to make pictures and i thought i really love the youtuber so i just bought his book just to support him and i found this book absolutely mind-blowing i honestly did not think anyone else had all these different competing voices in their head except for me he manages to explain all of the different voices and where they all come from and what they all are trying to tell you as much as much as it's helpful to have books in this format where people talk about you know research this is a different type of self-help than this because this uses metaphors and sometimes using a metaphor can really unlock and help you understand what's going on in your head. I highly recommend this book as well. So that was my Wellness Tuesday update. I thought it would be quite uh, fitting to talk about the self-help books that I would recommend in a Wellness Tuesday episode. I'm going to finish this vlog here. It has been lovely. I hope that I can string this together into a wonderful episode for you guys. I'm going to reflect on what I've written in the past because in this book, I have actually found answers and things that I wrote down from the exercises that I did with these two books. And I found that I've overcome these challenges and I don't think about them at all anymore. I, for example, had a lot of comments about how I felt that I was afraid of failure, which is why I never try anything because then you cannot fail. That worry has completely dissipated in my mind. It no longer exists, which is fascinating to me because I didn't even realize until I reread some of my answers and I thought, Oh, that's not even that's not even on my mind right now self-reflection and gratitude and stuff like that and reading self-help books and doing the work they do help that was it guys I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you very soon back on my channel have a lovely evening